Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, let's try to learn about the data flow for the template driven forms in the Angular. Both uh, we will try to see about the view to model and also the model to view directions. So we will explore each one step by step with clear explanation and a working example using the Angular 18 standalone components. So let's try to see. It. So the first one which I want to tell you is the uh, view, view to model data flow. So how this view to model data flow will work. So I will try to explain you some simple example. So here in the view to model flow. So normally view to model flow means what I was uh, trying to tell you is so whenever you are trying to write the data. So for example, here you are in the view, you are trying to update the value and how this value from the view is carried into the angular component. So that is nothing but the model. So the data model, how it will be. So in the view to model data flow, the data changes from the view. That means input element S. Yes. So we will change the data from the input element and propagate to the model that is nothing but the component property. So now user types in the input. The first one is user types in the input. Let's say that the user types blue into an input box bound to the favorite color in the component. So that means what I was trying to tell you. So here we are having an input box and we have a property that is nothing but the favorite color which is of two way data binding property we have made it. So now when the user types blue into an input box that is bound to an favorite color property in the component. Now the input emits an input event. So this is a native input event and that input element whenever you are trying to write the value it will emit the event. So now the angular listens to the inputs native input event. Now the control value accessor. So we have learned about this control value accessor. So control value accessor triggers the set value on the form control. So normally what it will control value accessor will do it will trigger the set value in the form control instance. Now a control value accessor like default value accessor for the basic inputs detects the changes and calls set value on the form control bound to the favorite color. So this is the thing and form control emits value changes observable. So this is the common. So it will changes the if the form control emits changes the observable. Now the form control instance emits the new value to any subscribers via the changes. So here the form control instance when the value when when the control accessor uh, sets the value automatically it will emit the value changes observable. So the value changes observable it will emit and whoever the uh, subscribers that has been subscribed to the value changes they will receive the updated value. And next after that one view to model update is called. So then after completing of this one view to model update method is called. So the control value accessor calls the view to update model in the ng model directive. So why because we have added it as an ng model directive right. So in this ng model directive the control value accessor again calls the view to model update method emitting a, an ng model change event with the new value blue. So that means it will emit a new event that is nothing but ng model change. So the two way data binding updates favorite color in the component automatically the two way data binding updates the favorite color in the component. So since the template uses the angular two way data binding syntax ng model the components favorite color property updates to blue. So that is one thing. So simply if you try to observe the same. So here if I try to observe the same if I try to show you the same concept here inside this one. So whenever I try to update the value to blue here automatically this blue the control value accessor here ng model directive ng model change will be fired automatically and here in this one the property will be updated the and if you are having a form control instance and all the things means the control value accessor will fire the set value all the things will be fine. So this is how the view to model data flow will be updated. So now the second one is the model to view data flow. So I want to explain you the model to view data flow that means so whenever you are trying to update the value in the model and how the view will receive the data. So let's try to observe that scenario also. So here in the model to view flow the data changes in the component propagates to the view. So you, you understood this one. So first one is update favorite color in the component. We programmatically update the favorite color to red in the component and the change detection begins immediately when we try to write the change detection uh, immediately when we try to update the favorite color property in our angular component change detection begins. Angular's change detection detects that favorite color has changed. So the uh, change detection detects that favorite color has changed and triggers an ng on changes event in the ng model directive. So immediately ng on changes event will be fired on the ng model directive. ng on changes sets the form control value asynchronously. So here ng on changes sets the form control value asynchronously. The ng on changes method of ng model 
schedules an asynchronous task to update the form control with the new value red so second change direction has been occurred why because the form control value has been updated again the second change direction has triggered angular runs a second change direction to prevent the expression change after it has been checked errors so in order to prevent this error so it will runs the second change direction form control emits the value change observable so after completing this one then the form control emits the value changes observable after the asynchronous update the form control instance emits the latest value read through its value changes observable that's it the fact control access updates the input element the control accessor access receives the new value and updates the input element in the view so this is how we will be updating the model to view flow and if you try to observe here so what we'll try to do here we can update it to button and here i, I can write it as an update color so now when you try to observe here so here i will use a click event is equal to update color so i'll be having it as an update color now when you try to observe here in this one i will write the method update color update color and here i can write such such as this dot favorite color is equal to that's it finish so now if you try to see here when i click on this update color automatically red will be updated here in this view and also here also so in this way the input element value will be updated and also the value also will be emitted as a, in the value changes observable if you observe here the data flow diagram from the view to model update so here the user types in the input box and it will fire the native input event and the control value accessor will takes that value and first it will sets the value in the form control and the form control fires a value changes event to the observable so and this observables will subscribe to this one and another time here it will also call the view to model update method in the ng model method so then it will emits an ng model change event and the component will be invoked and it will and it updates the value of the two way data binding property so this is how the view to model diagram will be uh, flow will be taken place so when you when it comes to the model to view means how it will try to take place is for example let's say that so when it comes to the model to view here the component updates the property value so the property is bound to the ng model and it triggers the change detection so the first change detection ng model asynchronously sets the form control value form control has been set when this form control is set async actions triggers a second round of change detection in this second round of change detection what will happen form control got the value and it files a value changes event to the observers and observers the control value accessor receives the value changes event and the control value access sets the value in the control so this is the how in the model to view uh, implementation will be taking place so this is the total data flow for example let's say that if you want to subscribe to the value changes means what can you do it, what you can do it is so here you can use something like hash color input is equal to so we need to do it as an ng model that's it so now we need to capture this one here in a such a way that at the rate view child of and this should be imported view child of we got the color input right so color input and this should be color input model of type ng model okay so this should be of type ng model now if you go here in our ng after view in it okay and if you want to do it so here you can write something like this dot color input model dot value changes dot subscribe of data and here you can do the console dot log of data so whenever you are trying to update it automatically it will be updated so now if you try to check it in the console dot log value so in the console if you try to see and if i update it here so we got the red value see and if i want to update it here automatically we are able to get so the, all the time the value changes is getting fine if you want to console this color input model you will be able to see this dot console dot log this dot color input model so now if you try to check it here in this one so if you try to check it so here you will be able to see the color input model and in this one you will be able to see the change detection strategies the control here the form, form control here the form control everything so this is the form control everything will be get updated here in this one you will be able to have the value changes so each one also you will be able to check the value changes thing 
so the form control instance will be updated here this is how you will be getting updated so hope you understood about this concept uh, what about this one so this uh, template driven form uh, data model so we'll try to discuss deep into this about this template driven forms and react driven forms in the upcoming videos in the upcoming videos i'm just giving you an overview how this one will work if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you